Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS4Root.com. Uh, for this week's ROM of the week, check out Triforce ROM for your Sprint Galaxy S4. This is only if you have a Sprint Galaxy S4 SPH L720. And uh, the latest version of Triforce ROM is built by the same guy who built the Force ROM, and many of you loved it uh, by XDA user Unknown Force. Don't forget to donate to him if you end up using this as a daily driver. Now the Triforce ROM is awesome because it'll give you the latest MF9 uh, firmware. It is built off that. Um, so you will be able to get uh, the latest features such as App2SD, App which I'll show you in a second here. Um, go to Application Manager. Go to any apps you want to move, like let's say Google Maps. Um, sorry, some apps you can't move, some of the system apps. Go to like Titanium Backup or your games. Hit the Move to SD card and boom. Um, you should be able to move all of your favorite apps uh, to the SD card. So that's nice. So it does come with the MF9, so you don't have to risk losing root um, so by installing custom ROM. And you pretty much get most of the stock stuff. It is debloated also, so you don't get all the extra uh, sprint apps or whatever. And also it does come with Vip Viper for Android FX. Um, this allows you to tweak your sound for your speakers, Bluetooth, headsets, headphones, all that good stuff. This is actually slightly better than the SV Manager. It does give you um, slightly more uh, options. So it is very, very nice. And also Hotspot uh, is working out of the box. Um, so you can go ahead and uh, enable that. Oops. And you probably noticed something strange going on with my transition animations while I'm switching here. That is the transition animations on this ROM. Isn't it cool? There you go, hotspot working. See that? It's going from the bottom to up, um, from the right to left, uh, bottom to up. So I love that transmission animation. So very nice stuff. I love it. And also you can see a uh, custom battery bar there. Um, there we go. Some other cool stuff on this ROM. Um, if you're on the internet or you're uh, running an app that freezes on you, hold down the menu button and boom, it will kill the app. Uh, also, there is call recording for those of you, um, you know, who work in the uh, lawyer firm, or, no, sorry, lawyer firm. <laughs> you can record all of your calls. Um, so that is nice. Uh, also, if you want to, you know, if you're talking and you need to take uh, the you need to take notes you can just record the call and listen to it later also low battery camera limitation removed which means you can still use your camera uh, when your battery is low so that is nice also one more thing um, you do have multi window enabled uh, for all apps um, so I've got like a dolphin browser here and internet uh, working just fine um, so that's nice, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice ROM. Do check it out, and I think you'll love it if you want to be on the latest MF9 uh, with a couple added cool features. Definitely, this is the one for it, and also this is way better than um, trying to unroot and install the stock ROM on it, and also does come with K Tweaker app, uh, so you can, um, yeah, you can overclock it if you want. Um, enable OC steps you can overclock it up to 2.3 I'm not gonna go there I would say stay around two, at least 2 gigahertz maybe 2.1 at most uh, for hardcore gamers but I wouldn't enable the OC steps unless you're a hardcore gamer or you have a reason to overclock um, and also you can underclock with K Tweaker which can get you better battery life and also does come with flash player some good stuff I really like uh, some of the ROMs from the unknown force and uh, yeah, do check it out and do let me know what you think. Very solid ROM, stable ROM. Um, another great ROM for those of you noobs just starting with custom ROMs. This is a great ROM to start with. Um, so check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And do let me know what you think. And uh, if you're coming from the older Forest ROM or any of the stock ROMs, you probably don't need to do a data-wide factory reset. Just make a backup ROM and try installing it without wipe and it should work and you should be able to keep your apps, settings, all that good stuff. Anyway, uh, check it out and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S4 or any of the Galaxy S4s, 
Uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxys4root.com. We update you once a week with Rhyme of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there, too. Uh, and I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.